Hi guys, this is going to be the tarot reading for the sign of Leo for uh, July 2019. Uh, this could resonate with you if you have Leo anywhere in your chart. This is a general reading, so it might not resonate with all of you. So please check out the other signs in your chart uh, and see which one would resonate with you best. Um, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate it. Um, all subscribe, all my subscribers, uh, get notified when I upload new videos so you won't miss anything. All right, uh, let's get down to business. For the sign of Leo, for July 2019. Leo, Leo. Past energy. Present energy. Future energy. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the sun in the right up. All right. The past. Could have been dealing with uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. This person has given you a lot of um, anxiety and a sleepless nights. Uh, I feel like you've been hurt by this person. And you. Uh, this could be, again, the energies are interchangeable. So this could be you or the person that you're dealing with. If you're the cross watcher, it could apply to you. I feel like uh, the things that this person has done in the past have hurt you a lot. Kept you up. Kept you anxious. Uh, but you were, you're coming out of that energy now. You're healing. The reason why is this person has been very inconsistent with you and in and out of your life. They have also had several other people they were speaking to or entertaining at the same time. Uh, they may have not put enough effort or action into the situation with the King of Wands in reverse. Uh, you could also be dealing with a fire sign such as yourself. Uh, King of Wands as uh, represented by Leo, uh, Sagittarius, or Aries. Or it could be just the energy that the person is bringing forth. Next you have the Hermit, the Virgo card. I feel like this person or you are very uh, studious, um, very almost mystical in a way. This person is spiritual, or uh, this could be you. I feel like you have a lot of faith in the situation. Or you have had a lot of faith in it. I feel like um, with this hermit card, you have gone within, or you're in the process of going within and retreating into yourself in order to find out what it is that you really want, or what the outcome of the situation is going to be, or what the preferred outcome of the situation is going to be for you at this time. Next, you have the Prince of Pentacles, which is Earth Energy. This is the slowest um, the slowest offer in the deck. So somebody's coming towards you, offering you something slowly and steady. However, they're stopping to look around before they do so. Okay, so this could be your energy or the energy of the person that, they're, that you're dealing with. Okay. The reason why is because you want a new beginning, Leo, with the Ace of Wands. Okay, you want a new passionate beginning. This uh, signifies creativity, passion, um, newness, new ideas with the Ace of Wand. Okay, next we have the Six of Pentacles. There's been in reverse, could be dealing with a Libra. Or I feel like there's a lack of give and take in the situation. There's lack of balance here. Uh, could be because of all this anxiety. Also, you might be feeling like you're not as abundant as you wish that you would be. Or this could be the person that you're dealing with, Leo. In the future, you have the Death card, Scorpio card. There's a big transformation coming in here for you with the Death card. Uh, all death brings four new beginnings. So that's what the energy is coming for you here. However, you've been kind of defensive about the situation and not wanting for this uh, new beginning to start here 
Um, however, with the death and the nine of wands, I feel like you are um, going to try to fight for it is for the changes that it is that you want to see here, Leo. All right. Next, you have the Libra card, the Justice card. It's coming in in the reverse, uh, which signifies a divorce, uh, some type of legal trouble also. Uh, it could also signify that you're still stuck in some type of karmic cycle with this person that you're dealing with. So the situation is not over yet. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Sun card, your card, Leo. Um, this is the happiest card of the deck. So it signifies happy times are coming, clarity is coming for you. Okay, so what it, whatever it is that you need to do, you're going to have the clarity in order to do it. All right, Leo? I'm going to go ahead and clarify some of these cards for you. All right, let's do some shuffling. Clarify this nine of swords in reverse for you, Leo. It's clarified by the seven of swords. Okay, I feel like you've been very anxious in the past in regards to the situation because there's been some sneaky behavior. Uh, this is the thief card. This is also the lying card. Thief lying, hiding something from them or from yourself, and that is why uh, you've been very anxious here all right let's clarify this king of wands for the sign of leo king of wands why is the king of wands in reverse here for leo the star okay you could be dealing with an aquarius leo uh i feel like even though this person has been not putting a lot of effort into the situation or you yourself haven't i feel like you have um uh, hope in the situation and you're gonna get some type of wish fulfillment out of it um you're gonna heal and come out on top all right clarify the hermit for the sign of leo Clarified by the fool in reverse. I feel like you're stopping. Um, I feel like you're stopping to take account of your situation at this time uh, with the fool in reverse, and you are not wanting to to uh, start anything new before you kind of go within and find out what it is that you really want, Leo. All right. Let's clarify this Prince of Pentacles for the sign of Leo. It's clarified by the Page of Cups. Okay, so you have a small apology or love offer coming in. Uh, it's still very immature, but it is slowly coming, okay? Maybe the person that you're dealing with or you yourself feel like you have to look around at your options or really think about this before, it, before you put any type of effort into it. All right. Let's clarify this Ace of Wands for Leo. Clarifying the Ace of Wands for the sign of Leo. The Hierophant. Okay, could be dealing with a Taurus. Or you're looking for some type of commitment or some commitments coming your way here with this Ace of Wands and the Hierophant. So I feel like you're having some type of uh, brand new passionate beginning with somebody that wants to commit to you. Okay, uh, this person could have actually put, done some magic. Uh, to influence the situation as well. All right. Let's clarify the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Why is the Six of Pentacles in reverse here for Leo? The Justice card in reverse. Um, there's a lack of give and take in this situation. The Six of Pentacles signifies Libra. Libra is clarifying this also in the reverse. Uh, there's a lack of give and take in the situation. Libra is here three times, Leo. Justice, justice. Uh, Six of Pentacles in reverse. There's the karmic cycle that you have not come, in, come out of yet. Uh, there's karma to be paid in the situation still, and there's a lack of give and take here. 
All right, let's clarify this death card. For the sign of Leo. The four of wands. There's going to be some type of brand new beginning. Could be a twin flame um, connection here, Leo. And, um, or some, it could be with somebody that uh, has some strong Aries in their chart. Um, there's going to be some type of brand new beginning with commitment there's some type of marriage proposal coming in for you leo something like that it's a stability let's go ahead and clarify this nine of wands for leo whoa a lot of cards came out hold on i'm gonna go ahead and do this again nine of wands one card please one card for leo the nine of swords I feel like you're very defensive or the person that you're dealing with is very defensive because in the past you guys have had a lot of conflict, a lot of anxiety, um, a lot of back and forth and you've been up in your head about this, thinking about this for a long time. So you're kind of defensive towards this person. Let's clarify the justice card in reverse. Let's clarify by the strength card, Leo. Uh, this could be one of your friends or somebody you've known for a long time. Uh, this person that you're dealing with is very strong, but at the same time, it's like very naive or childlike. Uh, I feel like they're always chasing something or some type of dream or some type of goal in life. So that could give you a clue of who that could be. And lastly, let's clarify the sun for you, Leo. Sun is clarified by the Six of Swords in reverse. Um, you're going to gain clarity about the situation. You are unable to walk away from the situation. You have to deal with it. There's a lot of karma here, Leo, that you have to repay. You can't walk away. You're going to gain clarity about this. And somehow you're going to get some brand new beginning with stability here, Leo. So I hope the best for you. If you would like a personal reading, contact me on my website, queenofswordsdivination.com. And I'll see you next month. Thanks.